Welcome back. The best thing that came out of the Pro Bowl was that Bob Palco was named NFL High School Coach of the Year. That was great to see. The rest of it, I could live without. Jeff, real quick, as we go around the horn here, uh, these All-Star games, I don't know what they're doing, but it seems like there's no interest among players, so why would there be interest among fans? Uh, and I echo your congratulations to Bob Palco. Uh, man, what a job he has done, and I'm glad there are still people like that molding young men. As for the game itself, man, once they start two-hand touching and, and hugging to get guys down, I saw there was one tackle, and it looked like it was a, should have been flagged because it looked so bad compared to what else was in that game. Roughing. Uh, I'm done with them. We get to see enough of these players. They're on TV all the time. The, the magic, if there was any ever, of a Pro Bowl is gone. The same thing's going to happen, though, right? We're going to pick up the old newspaper or Pump's going to tweet out something tomorrow about how great the ratings were of the Pro Bowl, right? Yeah, so probably. Probably. Why is that, Mark? Tell me why that is. Because it's football. That's the only way. I, there's nothing else yeah. on. You're, you're Very closely resembled like football. <laughs> well. You could have been watching golf like Pomp, or you yeah. could have been watching football. It was much I mean, more intriguing than that, I can tell you. The golf was I wasn't was better. paying attention much to the game, but it was on. So I think maybe that's what a lot of people are. Mm -hmm. And as long as that keeps happening, you're still going to have it. I mean, as long as people are tuning in, and they're tuning in. Now, I expect that tweet for you tomorrow, Pomp. It's coming. <laughs> I've seen more physicality of the Steelers Wednesday practice. It was just – it was – and, and – and, after the first few drives and everybody's trying the goofy fourth and 15 from the 25 thing and going back and forth, it just, I, I was checked out halfway through the first quarter. Yeah. And you saw some weird occurrences, you know, TJ Watt assisting on a Miles Garrett touchdown. I mean, that just did not go over. Just like yesterday when Gensel's setting up Giroux, that didn't go over well either, but that's what we have today. And these highly skilled, uh, no defense kind of approach to all-star games. All right, when we come back, we're going to talk about the Penguins. The all-star game is over. That means they're back to work, and they got some decisions to make as they get closer to the trade deadline. We'll talk about it next right here on the number one Cochrane Sports Show tonight.